What's up guys, Russ Lyman here and welcome to part two of turning my scooter into Yoshi. If you guys missed the first video, well, what are you doing here watching this? Watch that one first and come back. We left off, we're gonna be painting the parts for the scooter. Now my scooter came in a red and cream color and we're gonna be changing those parts to a Yoshi green. I went down to my local paint store and ended up getting a custom color. I looked at a lot of their swatches, got a picture of Yoshi there and held up a couple greens that I thought would look great and I got some custom spray paint cans with that green. I picked up two cans. I figured that might be enough to do the panels. So we headed to the paint booth and we hung up the panels to get ready for paint. All right, everything's all primered up. Looks good. And now we're gonna put some base coat. I got this awesome bright green that I got mixed up right here. We got two cans of this. So I'll be able to do these parts and the other parts as well that I have yet to prime, which are over here. And one more I'm still building. Let's go. Now, first thing, I had to prime all the panels. This way, the regular base coat would stick better to it. So we primed them all with a flat gray. Perfect base to lay our nice bright green on it. Now, of course, I was doing light coats and waiting about 10, 15 minutes before I'd go back and lay another coat of paint on there. It was a hot day, so the paint coats were drying quickly. So I made fast work of everything. All right, well, here is Yoshi's head, all painted green. So we need to go back in, paint his eyes up there white with a little bit of black as well. I got my little amiibo right here to uh, <laughs> use as a reference and just some acrylic paints. So let's get to it. Now in between painting Yoshi's face, I was kind of going and painting some of the panels of it and I was still working out the front panel, Yoshi's front of his body, essentially that would be attaching to my scooter and I kind of wanted to give it some texture so I found this stone paint. All right, I got this stone textured paint and I'm finishing off the front plate with it just to give it maybe some dinosaur skin texture. You can see it already has couple coats on it so it helps kind of hide a lot of the stuff that I would have had to sand. The great thing about this is uh, it hides all your mistakes. Less sanding using this. You don't have to get everything perfectly smooth because it is a texture paint and I think it'd be great. You lay this down and then you can put the color you want over it. All right that's it. That's the whole can. Let that dry. All right, just got my fenders in the front piece to paint. We're gonna clean these off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and water solution right here, and then hit it with some flexible primer. Let's get it. Now, something I probably should have thought of earlier to save myself some money. These custom paint colors cost a pretty penny, and they're probably about $25 per can, and it was taking a bit to get the coats on there. So what I ended up doing, once I primed the rest of the parts that I needed, I just went and used some generic lime green color. Now, I have my expensive, this is, this is about $35 a can, 
to get the special green. What I did and picked up this paint primer that's a similar color. So I'm gonna paint these with a base coat of this and then top it off with this guy because I don't have a lot of it. This way it matches the other parts, but I don't have to use a whole bunch of this. So we got paint and primer all in one. We're gonna get all three pieces right here. All right, we got Yoshi hanging up right there. A nice bright color right there. Now to match this here, we're gonna be sanding this just to scuff it up a little bit. I got some 1200 grit sandpaper. We're gonna hit these pieces right here and then we'll go over it. This is what it's currently with. And I wanna make sure the new stuff sticks. So that's why we're using 1200. And then this will color match what Yoshi looks like right there. All dried up. There's Yoshi right there. There's the fender. Nice. Looks pretty shiny. There we go. Then finally, it was time to put all these parts back onto the scooter. I headed out to the carport to clean up the scooter a little bit since I had the parts off of the scooter. Got in there, cleaned those up, and we're gonna be adding the new bright green Yoshi colored parts to the scooter. All right, here's the main spread of all the scooter parts. Got my trunk storage container, the front part with the little top piece there is where the headlight goes. This is the body part for Yoshi. Of course, Yoshi's head right here. Got our front fender, our little back fender here and our side fenders. So all this has to go back on the scooter. Now I did still need to attach the front plate to the scooter and uh, have it removable. This way I can take it on and off. But once the test fit was done, I needed to add the fabric to it so it looks like Yoshi's front. So I ended up getting some stretchy fabric, cutting it to size, and then using a little bit of hot glue so it would stick on there. And one of the final steps was I had gotten a custom seat cover. All right, this is one of the last pieces. I ordered this about a year ago. It's a car seat cover for the scooter. Yeah, it looks like a red shell. Let's go. This is just a cover that goes over my existing seat. I found someone on Etsy that does these and I had them do a red and white with cross stitching. I think it kind of mimics what the little shell would be on the back of Yoshi there, the Koopa shell. And I thought it tied the scooter theme together with it. And with that, we were ready to take it for a ride. I did order a helmet and I didn't have time to film it, but I customized the helmet. It came all black and I thought if I'm gonna have a Yoshi scooter, might as well make a Mario helmet. So we painted the whole helmet red. We have my helmet, so. And you can push this up so I can see outside of it, still have my glasses on and all that. But yeah, I painted this up really fast just to match the outfit. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna close this. You could see through it, 
but they can't see in essentially and it looks like Mario. Kind of hard to explain, but check it out. And it's got a little button right here and I can go full face. So if I got to talk to someone, drink something or whatever, works out perfectly. Fit for the Yoshi scooter. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. It was certainly awesome cruising around on the scooter. It was a little bit cold. I wore some thermals and the helmet definitely helps out. I got my cape on so it can blow in the wind and it looked awesome. People were beeping and waving at me. So I was super excited to get this out on the road finally. Can't wait till when it warms up and it's spring and summertime and I'll be on this thing a lot. We're hoping to maybe get some sort of trailer so I can pull it with the Mario Kart car. This way I could bring it out to events. We could bring both things. So future plans, I guess. Well guys, that was my full Yoshi build. Will there be a part three? I think a little bit down the road. I wanna put sound effects into the Yoshi scooter since my car does have sound effects as well. But it is getting cold out here, so I won't be working on the scooter anytime soon. So that video probably won't come out for a while. But I have plenty of other DIY builds. You guys could check out my car, my custom Mario Kart car, if you guys haven't seen that already. Lots of videos to check out on the channel, so consider subscribing, because I put out weekly videos. As always, guys, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Kelly Moore, Trace Livingood, Samantha Chang, David Apuzo, Maynard, Joe Shivy, TechWizX, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Koz, and Oshi, Ganaman, Rock Solid Productions, Turbo Jesse, and everyone on my Patreon. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later.